Are you having challenges creating your footwear patterns? Or do you find yourself struggling with shoe pattern drafting? Are you a beginner in shoe making? Do you desire to upgrade your shoe pattern cutting techniques? Then this is for you. Hello, yes, you're welcome to today's class, and we are going to be learning how to create a, a, a first slide. Yes, a first slide. I'm sure you have um, seen a first slide before, and what is a for is just what I have here. They come in different forms and in different mm -hmm. shades. As you can see this now, it has two different colors. We have something like uh, is a lilac. This is more of a deeper lilac because I don't know. Some may say it's purple, but for me, this is more of a light lilac, and this one is a bit deeper. It comes in different color. For this, it comes, you know, in two colors like this. You have some that comes singly, like what I have here. You can see what I have here. This is more of a wine. Some call it Burgundy. Whatever you want to call it, this is wine. And it's so plain like this. I have another one that has different patch. It has this is it has patches of different colors. And this is what I have. Now you have them in different shades, in different colors. Sometimes you see it's mixed together, just like you have this kind of leather this way. You see it mixed together. It can be mixed, it will be arranged in such a way that, you know, it will be having different colors. Most times, it's not as if that's the way it is. It's the way it is arranged on the slide. So, I want us to know that you can arrange it this way. You can see what we are having already from this arrangement. If you don't want this color in between, you can decide to put something like this in between it. And then you go ahead and do this. But before we go into that, I would like to explain to us how did I go about my pattern. Now, if you are using this kind of a sole, which is actually a double sole, what you do is, if you check the, the, the width of this particular side, is about 8 centimeters. As you can see, you can see it here is 8 centimeters. So, you are going to create a, tri a rectangle that has a width. Or breadth of eight centimeter now the length will be with respect with the size you are working with so let's say I'm working with this size all I need to do is to create a design you know that will go this way let's use this this centimeter unit so you can see what I have this is 17 you can come to the fullest part which is the in step this is about 20 so it means i have to ensure that my 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 length is about 20 to 21 centimeter i can still work on that it's about 20 this is 20 from this side don't forget it's going to start from this corner so that's about 20 centimeter so it means the length will be 20 centimeter why my width is going to be eight centimeters so as i when i cut that i can then adjust the other side of the of the i mean the other width this side because definitely this side will be shorter compared to this particular side now if you don't want to go through that route you can decide to use a, the taping or masking method just mask this mask it using your paper tape then you just draw your design out and remove it and transfer it onto your cardboard or plain sheet that you want to use to to do your drafting before you finally put it on your tick cardboard so for me i'm using eight centimeter by 20 centimeter rectangle now as you can see i've already cut out my rectangle now looking at the shape you find that this is a bit longer on this side i told us earlier so what you need to do is to shape it out use it to shape it so that you will be able to trim that out do the same thing on this side as well then you will have your perfect shape for your first slide the essence of this is just for us to create a platform 
where we are going to attach our fall. I don't always suggest that we use our fall just like that. Don't just use it like that without creating like, you know, a pattern, an upper before you place it on it. Now you can see what I have. You can see what I have. So just work with whatever size you're working with. So I've already cut out my leather. Now you can use any kind of leather that you so prefer. So this is what I'm going to be using. It's just going to stand as a base. Now don't forget you can decide to use a kind of lining you can line your hopper it's all your choice so i'm just going to have that by the side here so all i need to do now is to go ahead and hold this side down i'm going to be using my shoe repair glue as usual just to hold that side now i find out that over time this particular glue used to remove so i would suggest that as much as possible you can hold it down with an accessory a kind of accessory pin you can use it to hold the sides the two sides you can use it to hold it down and if stitching is a possibility you can just go ahead and open it in here and stitch just for your customer to enjoy it although some people wouldn't like to see stitch there is a way it can be opened before it is unstitched that will make it last longer this cannot hold it actually for a long while now the next thing i'm going to do is just going to try to hold it down with this, as I said earlier, just put it all around it this way and then bring it down to fix. Be careful as you do that. So this is just the major template that we need to create. First of all, now after this, we are going to be arranging our four on our already made slide now you can decide not to buy a sole you can buy an already made slide like this so you just go ahead and get your fall like this now i want you to know that when it comes to the fall around me here they sell it in form of in pairs so they like per square meter that's what they sell you can see how wide this is so it means if i'm just using the this particular one all i need to do is just to apply my gum now and place it all around it and then my first slide is ready now you can use different kinds of glue for this particular purpose I told us earlier that we can use different kind of gum for placing our four on our slide now I have E7000 here. You can use E7000. You can use E6000. They are all multi-purpose adhesives and they can be used to hold this down on our slide. Now you can also use your glue gun. It comes with a glue stick such as this. All you need to do is to plug it and then go ahead and use it. As you press it, you can see it coming out. So you are just going to pull it all around your 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 leather you put it on it and then place it on it you can also use this particular one you can also use this particular shoe repair i want you to know that amazingly you can also use our contact cement adhesive too which is some people call a faux stick you can use that as well all you need to do is apply it on it then place it on it it will stay on it and now you can decide to create different kind of designs let me quickly show us different designs that we can create now for this you can decide to go this way as i was showing us earlier this can go this way while you have another one another one such as this next to it you can see what this looks like you can see how beautiful it looks all you need to do is make sure it's very close to themselves so in case you want to add another one just to close this particular side you can add this and at the end of the day this is what your slide will look like like it has three different color so most times it's not as if they come in layers like this most time they don't come in layers like this now if you don't want to go that route you will see some go this way you will find out that there is one like this 
you have it means what it means is that you are going to apply your gum whichever of the gum you want to use you apply it place it on it place it on it this way then you cut it out now you go ahead and do the same thing for the next one so at the end of the day your slide will actually have multiple colors you can repeat the same color you can repeat the same color so all you need to do is just to arrange it on it and then whatever kind of color you intend to combine together that is what you will have amazingly you can even create colors in such a way that this side alone we have a particular color and on the other side will have a particular color that you can achieve if you buy a wide one when it's wide you can create different shape now you can create a love shape you can create a love shape with this all you need to do is if you want your love shape to be at the center place it at the center it will have that shape while you now cover the other side with the other four slide those are the processes in which you can use to create your four slide now you can see for me i'm going to be using my glue gun now i will advise us not it's much more better to use the glue gun or the E6000 or 7000 gum than for us to use the glue. If you are not careful with the, with the shoe glue, it will end up freezing your force. So it can freeze it and it will not be as fluffy as what we have now. So you really need to work on that. Be careful or else it will freeze it. So just majorly use it for this side. Majorly use it for this side. Don't use it for adding your, for attaching your four. So I think we should not forget that, please. Don't forget, I told us you can use your contact cement adhesive too. So you can see it's holding it, it's holding it down. So let's go ahead. I started with this, so I think I would like to add just a touch of yellow. I would like to add a touch of yellow and that will close it up by the side. Although I really have a lot of colors here. I don't mind. I think I like it that way anyway. So I'm just going to add my yellow just to finish it up wow i'm sure you can see what we have now don't forget that you can use different gum to avail this on your preformed pattern and please i want you to avoid using this for that purpose only use this particular one to hold your leather when you want to commence the, the 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 design when you want to design that's the only thing you should make use of this for please avoid using this to hold this this for or else it will just stiff it and it will not be you know all this four will just stick together and you won't be able to brush it so that it will be looking very fluffy now i want you also to know that there are different types of four you can see that some of these are even more fluffy than the other so it depends on what you have in your market but even with this you can still have a lovely four slide don't please forget if you are new in my channel ensure that you press the notification button after pressing the subscription button so that you get notified each time i upload a video thank you so much for watching today's tutorial and let me know do you prefer the multicolored or you just prefer only a plain color let me hear what your suggestion is or what your opinion is in the comment section i'll see you next time bye